Okay, so hi there everyone. We're now in our last video in the nano world and we're just going to talk about the remarks in nanotechnology. Actually, not just, but this includes the advantages, disadvantages, benefits, and concerns when we talk about the nano world. Okay, so let's proceed to it. Um, let's go first and talk about the possible applications of nanotechnology here in, in our country, in the Philippines, um, since we're living here. So what are the implications of this um this new science actually not really not relatively new but for us it is the new one um nanotechnology in society um in the philippines so um first up the applications of it can be in the in first and most importantly in information and communication technologies and semiconductors so now of course this is given that when we have this nanotech so of course our our technology will will be improved quite a lot um also in health and medicine why is it in health and medicine even though it it haven't reached us yet but there are some predictions or foresight that in the future um some nano robots may go in during surgery this is during surgery where in may go in inside a person's body and then go and manually operate inside the person's body without even without uh, with no more um um human surgery um human in, uh, intervention going on but nanotech can do that because nanotech these uh, these small robots can reach what um a, sur a surgeon cannot so th those are four sites in the futures but they are very possible to happen so hopefully it can also reach here in the philippines um, also in energy, it has some possible application in on energy when we talk about um, solar and other types of um, energy creation. We also have this in food and agriculture. So when we have when we have since we are we are an agriculture we are um, a country um, known for its agriculture, for its land farming and such. So this this nanotech um, can have this application in in agriculture and food. Also in the environment, of course, in the environment. Now, what is our roadmap, roadmap for the Philippines when we talk about nanotechnology? So as far as the Philippines is concerned, so this is our roadmap. First, we need to know and deal with the nanotech as much as its, its implications or applications in ICT, information and communications technologies and semiconductors. Um, we also need to have this after that step we will be having or using it in the health and biomedical okay as one of the most important parts most important um, um, aspects of our society which is our health and the people living in it next we're going to need to talk about um, its application in energy then about the, in food and agriculture then in the environment so let's extend that a bit after the environment we'll be talking about health and environmental risks because there will be risks of course in anything um, and then we'll we'll be talking about nanometrology okay and furthermore um, we will be um, increasing the public awareness for such that is in, in uh, through energy through education okay through education so this is the nano nanotech nanotechnology roadmap for the philippines and hopefully um, come 10 15 years after this um after in the future we can reach this such um technological advancement now after this we're going to talk about the disadvantages and advantages of nanotechnology as a whole so what are the advantages and disadvantages of it so let's start with the advantages okay of course um the good news first right okay so the advantages of nanotech okay so we have here first of all this offers potential for new and faster kinds of computers which is very possible okay so the smaller our conductor is our semiconductor is so the faster it will our computers will be so it 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 is one of, of the obvious advancements or advantages of nanotechnology also it can give us more efficient and power sources that's why one of the applications of it possible applications is on energy and again like i said it can give us life-saving medical treatments though the medical treatments that surgeons or doctors cannot give because only in nan in, in the nano world uh, one can see such um such such things okay in our bodies so how about for the disadvantage 
So we have, of course, the advantages for the nanotech. So first is there will be a disruption in our economy since this is a new thing. So there will be um, differences um, when we talk about the, the economic structure okay, of our society. Um, there are also possible threats to security okay since um this is such a new one one or some um some people may use this in the in the bad motives in the wrong motives so that's very possible in privacy also health and also in the environment and let's talk about talking about environment so uh what are the concerns and the the benefits of nanotechnology and environment let's call let's start with the good news that's the environment or that's the benefits so it may improve the detection and removal of contaminants because we are dealing with very very small um, world here in the nanoscale so the bacteria and viruses can be can be um, detect detected already or and, and since it, it's detected it can be prevented okay in advance the development of benign industrial processes and materials okay especially in ict in information communications and technology um and of course we have these concerns when it comes to environment so these are the the benefits of it some concerns is that it has it's it can be toxic and high reactivity okay um, as far as um, it it has uh, it has concerns in the environment um, it may have pervasive distribution in the environment, so we don't know that. Um, but there will be some pervasive distribution in the environment. And there is no, actually, there's no nano-specific environmental policy uh, regulation about this. Okay, about this new nanotechnology. So um, hopefully in the future or in the near future, or maybe they have done already um, for those countries which employs this nanotech. So maybe they have already the... The environmental policy there but um, as far as the whole world is concerned so there's no nano-specific epa so far so that's for the nanotech and environment moving on let's now um, try to uh, see nanotechnology versus health so let's start with the benefits of it so again it may improve the medicine since it can it can again it can it can see it can contain already it can detect um bacteriums bacteria rather bacteria and viruses so we will we may also improve the medicine itself okay since again we can we can delve deeper into into an understanding human organs up until to the nano that nano level um, it could save lives by making diagnosis and treatment more effective the same thing that i am i was talking a while ago some concerns when it comes to health may be the ability to cross cell membranes and translocate in the body. So since they're very small, they have the, yeah they can they can cross cell they can, they can cross the cell membranes and of course um, you know they can do some things that cannot be done before inside the body since they can access very small things. So um, those are some concerns of it. Um, and there's no food and drug administration or food and drug approval needed for cosmetics and supplements since this is a new a new technology so um there's no world um accepted uh approval for this uh, maybe an, except for those countries which uses this technology already but for for ours so there's none yet as far as the philippines is concerned uh, moving on with the economy, okay, nanotechnology and economy. So obviously, some of the benefits is it it can give us better products, especially again in computers, and it may give us new jobs. Okay, since this is a new one, so of course, new fields, new disciplines may always and can always give new jobs. So some concerns is that there will be some wealth redistribution. Um, that is, um, there it will be a change of 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 the of the econ economic um I, like i said in the in the previous slides there will be a disruption in the economy since um this the, the the this is a new trend so there there may be some redistribution of wealth for those who know this technology versus those who who don't know 
this technology. So also there may be some potential costs of cleanups and healthcare. Okay, so that's that's obvious. And the accessibility to all income levels. Of course, uh, since this nanotech will be needing some equipment. In the previous video, we have we saw that it needs some electron microscope. And mind you, those microscopes are not 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 cheap to buy. Um, the atomic force microscopes, scanning tunneling microscopes, and such. So, um, the accessibility is quite a, quite a challenge. Okay. So when it comes about uh, economy. Okay. So that's it. Uh, we have talked about nanotechnology versus the environment, ver nanotechnology versus um, health, and nanotechnology versus the economy. Let's talk more about the now technology um just uh not really recently way back 2018 on november 22nd 2018 we have 10 eminent scientists and scientific institutions received the unesco medals for contributions to the development of nanoscience and nanotechnologies um, this is held during a ceremony in unesco headquarters in paris france so the medal is awarded each year by the director general of the unesco to prominent scientists public figures organizations that contribute to the developments of nanoscience and nanotechnologies so this is in the spirit of unesco's priorities of course so nanotechnology is, is becoming a uh, uh, field now and it's it's it has taken quite quite some attention so um we have here unesco and with that um unesco listed the top 10 uses and applications of nanotechnology Okay, this is um, from UNESCO itself. So UNESCO is UN, United Nations, Educational, um, Social, uh, what's the C? Cultural Organization. Sorry if I miss, if I forgot. Okay, so that's UNESCO. Oh, no, no, sorry. Scientific. Sorry, scientific. So UNESCO is United Nations, Educational, Scientific, um, C, I think it's Cultural Organization. Sorry if I forgot. So these are the top 10 uses and applications of that technology by the UN or UNESCO. Number one, it can be energy storage, productions, and conversion. So energy storage, energy production, and energy conversion. Okay, um, agricultural productivity and enhancement. That's one of the the possible applications here in the Philippines also. Um, water treatment and remediation. Okay, so this can be if nanotechnology is here in, in our country, so this this will really help. Um, disease diagnosis and screening that we did we talked about this in medicine and about health in health, drug delivery systems, um, food processing and storage, that's why there's food in agriculture, air pollution and remediation, okay, still in the environment. Construction, okay, construction may be improved because of nanotechnology. Health monitoring, okay, since there will be some, um, we have already the, the we go deeper in the smaller, very, very small scale, so we can see already the health and um, the monitoring, the health monitoring rather. And then we have number 10, vector and pest detector and control. So um, since uh, this is still part of the environment, so since we can go into smaller, in the smaller universe, so therefore we can, we can detect the pet, the test that, the pest and also the, the the bacteria and viruses. So those are the top ten uses and applications of nanotechnology by UNESCO. So um, with this, um, this ends our remarks in nanotechnology. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that you would like and subscribe. And before that, sorry, um, this is my reference for these slides. So I thank. Um, I think Lee Y Cruz, Lee sorry, uh, Lee I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure, but this is the, the my source for these um, slides and these videos about nanotechnology. So thank you very much um, for staying with me for the rest of the videos. I think I have created four or five videos for nanotechnology, and uh, thank you for being here. So um, I'll see you in the next chapter in the Science Technology Society. And thank you very much. Again, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, please. Okay, thank you very much.